Okay, the squash has been in the oven for 45 minutes. I've taken it out and left it for five minutes so it's cooled slightly. And now we can get on. So we just need to get rid of the bits of rosemary and take these, take the squash off the baking tray and pop them on your chopping board. There we go. Doesn't matter if there's a few little bits of rosemary, that's fine. And get rid of your baking tray. Okay, so now we just need to roughly chop up the squash and then we'll, um, we'll get rid of the skin. So just in, and say about inch chunks along. And then we'll, with the end bit, we'll just cut that in half and do exactly the same. So cut them in half and then make little chunks. I'm going to do the same on the other one. Hopefully this is now smelling absolutely fantastic for you and it won't be long before you eat it. Okay. Then using just a smaller knife, you may not even need to, it may be peel off. And I'll just trim the end bit off. But you just want to get rid of the skin and then pop them into a bowl. So the skin may just peel off or you may need to ease it with a knife. So far mine are just peeling. Nope. So just do this on all the little bits and pop the, the chunks into a bowl. Okay. So you can just run your knife around the outside if you like. It's just nice and easy. There we go. And then what we're going to do next is obviously we'll have messy paws. So we'll go and wash our hands and then get the pasta on. And then we'll be pretty much done. Just need to pop these in a pan with the... Um, with the mascarpone and we'll be done. Okay. Oh, the smell of this is great. So hopefully you're motoring through these now. There we go. Almost done. Hopefully you're not waiting for me too long. Remember to put the skin in the right pile. <laughs> okay. So you just need to go and wash your hands and then we'll take the squash over to the um, over to the hob. If you haven't quite finished um, don't worry, just press pause and um, you can catch up. Nothing's going to get ruined. So, but once you finish, just wash your hands and we'll do everything at the hop. Okay, we just need to turn the heat on for our pan that's going to have the mascarpone in it 
And then we just want to pop the pasta on. So the pasta will only take a minute or so. So just drop the pasta in. And then the key with pasta is, once it goes into the water, then that's when you want to give it a little stir. Because then that's when it's more likely to stick together. So just stir it lightly, just to separate the strands. Good. And we can leave that to come back to the boil. And just need to now pop our squash into the pan. And it's starting to sizzle already, so if it cooled down, it'll be heating back up again. And all you need now is your mascarpone. So I've just got it on one of the back burners, so it's about a medium heat. And now we're just going to add in the mascarpone. It's about, it's half of one of these tubs, so that's 125 grams of mascarpone. Not one for fat fighters, but it tastes fantastic. There we go. And then just using your wooden spoon, as it starts coming up to the heat, I'm going to bring this forward so that you can see it better. Just gently stir in the mascarpone. And as it heats up, it'll melt. And this is absolutely fantastic. Go. So just stirring it lightly, just helping it melt. Okay. I'm just going to give the pasta a little stir. And so just check your pasta, none of this throwing it against a wall or anything, you just need to fish a bit out and give it a bite. Oh, now I can feel already it's still too, too hard. Okay, so the pasta will probably be about another minute, so just keep stirring the, the mascarpone. And then as soon as it starts to bubble, you can turn the heat right down. So, got it on the lowest burner, on the lowest heat. Because that will be plenty hot enough, and all we need to do is wait for the pasta to do it. Alright. Let's try it again. Fish a bit out. Just be careful you don't burn yourself when you do this. Just give it... A bite. Oh. No, not quite yet. There's al dente and there's crunchy. You don't want it crunchy. But we're almost there yet. Go. Now we can add a good pinch of salt and pepper to the squash. So a nice generous pinch of salt and this will help season the pasta as well when it all comes together. And then a good couple of twists of pepper and we'll give that a stir in. Go and then just need to check the pasta again. Just try it a little bite. Easy way to test, perfect. So go and drain that and um, bring it back over to the hot.
Okay, so now it's just a simple case. Uh, you can turn all the heat off everything by popping the pasta into the squash and then giving it a nice stir and toss together. There we go. Lovely. And now we can take this now over to the work surface and we can serve. I'll just get rid of the mess that we made earlier and bring in our plates. So to serve, all you need to do is just spoon the mixture into the plate. Nice and simple, nothing fancy. Just making sure you pick up some of the squash with it. There we go. And then lastly, with the parmesan and your potato peeler, just peel little strips of parmesan onto it. There we go. And that's it done. I hope you enjoy it. And then make little chunks. I'm going to do the same on the other one. Hopefully this is now smelling absolutely fantastic for you. And it won't be long before you're eating. Okay. Then using just a smaller knife, you may not even need to, it may be peel off. And I'll just trim the end bit off. But you just want to get rid of the skin. And then... Okay, the squash has been in the oven for 45 minutes. I've taken it out and left it for 5 minutes so it's cooled slightly. And now we can get on. So we just need to get rid of the bits of rosemary and take these, take the squash off the baking tray and pop them on your chopping board. There we go. Doesn't matter if there's a few little bits. There we go. And then what we're going to do next is obviously we'll have messy pores, so we'll go and wash our hands and then get the pasta on and then we'll be pretty much done. Just need to pop these in a pan with the, um, with the mascarpone and we'll be done. Okay. Pop them into a bowl. So the skin may just peel off, or you may need to ease it with a knife. So far, mine are just peeling. Nope. So just do this on all the little bits, and pop the, the chunks into a bowl. Okay. So you can just run your knife around the outside if you like. It's just nice and easy. Bits of rosemary, that's fine. And get rid of your baking tray. Okay, so now we just need to roughly chop up the squash and then we'll, um, we'll get rid of the skin. So just in, and say about inch chunks along. And then we'll, with the end bit, we'll just cut that in half and do exactly the same. So cut them in half, 